Hey, now, um, Stables, no mm. pressure, but you normally make a couple of mm. prank phone calls. I know today's your first, oh, day, first back, day back, in two but months. it's not a stable show without a couple of prank phone calls. Yeah. It's about time, oh, buddy. A bit rusty. Come on, Stables. You've got one in you, surely, somewhere. <laughs> oh, trust me, I ain't got one in me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hang on. I've got, I got an idea. Man. That's Tele- the phone over there. Tell O'Connor is good to mark with. Hang on. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to Telecom Fault Service. Please select from one of the following three options. For business phone or fax faults, press 1. You can help us further by entering the area code and the telephone number you're experiencing a problem with, followed by the hash key. If you prefer not to do this, press the hash key now. I prefer not to. <laughs> Please hold while your call is transferred. Hello, Telecom Fault. It's uh, it's not your fault. <clears throat> it's not your fault, honey. <laughs> was that it? I'm afraid so. That was it. It's, uh, it's not your best work, mate. Well, you could both kiss my ass in. <laughs> Couldn't help you. Might have caught the ad on TV or in the newspapers for the We Want You Motor Group. <laughs> It's got like a, an American. He looks like um, Uncle Sam, and he's got the um, the big the, top hat. The big top hat and we things. We want you. Yeah, let me read their ad to you. Their ad goes: The We Want You Motor Group. Are you a bankrupt? <laughs> Bad credit rating. New immigrants, beneficiaries, <laughs> learner license. We want you and can get you on the road in no time at all. The We Want You Motor Group, but. <laughs> But do they really want you? Good afternoon, we want your motor group. Jordan speaking. You got any of them vans? You got many vans at the moment? Pardon? Have you got many vans in stock? V- vans like uh, Nissan vans or just vans for people, people mover? Um, I think we might. I'm not mm. actually too sure. Okay, I just wanted to ask you because about the ad, uh, I haven't. Got a very good history with um, some yeah. of my debts. Yeah. So I, I just uh, I want to be straight up from day one, you know. Yeah. I got I got bankrupted eighteen months ago. How uh, much um, bad credit are you? I got uh, there's only twelve. There's twelve defaults on Baynet, but I mean they're obviously with is bankrupt now, so they don't count, eh? Yeah. Um, there's also I did an eight month stint in Rangipo, and uh, the prison for insurance fraud. And I'm um, also part of the Potorua branch of the Nazi Party and an active member of Al Qaeda. <laughs> they don't want you. <laughs> the best of stables on ZM. There's a bit of controversy over breastfeeding at the moment. Uh, a lot of restaurants and cafes and things uh, have been saying to clients that have begun to breastfeed in the area, uh, would you mind please not performing the, the breastfeed whilst uh, you're in the restaurant, which is a bit rough, really. And they might be putting mm. legislation through that says you cannot move a mother from your premises mm. for breastfeeding. Restaurants, cafes, winds, waiting areas, intercity. Uh, <laughs> You know what I find? I find every time, and I'm not being I'm not being rude here, or because it's a natural thing and all of that. I find whenever I fly, it's always two rows in front of me. There's always someone breastfeeding, and I'm I'm be completely honest here. It's kind of like I'm inquisitive and I want to look over there, but I don't want to be seen looking over there. And particularly if if their partner's travelling with them, it's not like a it's not like a sexual thing. It's just a p- pure curiosity, like interest, kind of like yeah. a, an accident on the road or something. You can't help but look, but you mm. don't really want to. I think I think most guys um, perhaps would would be the same. Well, mm. I certainly hope so. No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's true. That's true. You can't really help but look. Well, not not a full look. I'm just mm. saying, like a corner of the eye look. It actually might be a little bit of envy because you can't do it. You want a bed? <laughs> oh, oh, Flynn. <laughs> anyway, we th- we think it sucks that, that any establishment would remove someone or ask them mm. to leave their restaurant. Stupid. Do you know there was even an example where a woman was kicked out of an early childhood centre? That's ridiculous. Which ridiculous. is just dumb. We hope we hope it's passed, and we hope that you're able to breastfeed anywhere you like. It's completely natural, and believe it or not, people have been doing it for millions of years. 
But uh, when it comes to restaurants, how many actually have a policy already? We thought we'd call a few around the country. Oh, no. We thought we'd start with Queenstown. Look at this, Gantley's Restaurant for fine dining, medallion winner, and the beautiful cuisine magazine. Yeah, okay. It's meant to be quite upmarket. Here we go. Let's try the sewer and just see what their policy is. <laughs> Good afternoon, Gently. It's Joshua speaking. Hi, do you have any reservations available for this evening? We certainly do. What time would you like to come? Probably around about, um, staying over at the other hotel, uh, around about 7.40, 7.45. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That'll be under uh, Valentine. Mm-hmm. It's just for two, thank you. It's just uh, my partner and I. Is that confirmed? Yeah, uh, whereabouts are you staying, sorry? Um, just staying over at the Millennium. The Millennium? Mm-hmm. Uh, would you like us to pick you up? That would be wonderful. We can be outside at seven, yeah, seven thirty then, if you like. Um, uh, but our pick up tonight is at seven fifteen. Oh, okay. Seven fifteen sounds okay. That sounds okay. Mm. My partner's also breastfeeding at the moment. Uh, that, that's no problem within the restaurant. No, no, not no. a problem. We, 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 we've been to a few around around Queenstown, and there's, there's been some issues where uh, some of the staff have asked asked her not to. And that's um, ridiculous. I think it's 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 terrible, but uh, it, it, t- it will be meal time, of course, with the baby, and yep. that, that's no problem in, in the restaurant itself. We've mm. actually got a mm. private dining room. Mm-hmm. If you would feel more comfortable mm. doing it. Oh no, no, yeah. she's quite happy to do it in the main dining room. It's fine. Is, is there a corkage fee for that, or she can just go ahead? No, 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 no mm-hmm. she can just go ahead. <laughs> she, she'll only be using one of them, and you're more than welcome to utilise the other if you like. <laughs> They've, um, they do it in the States, but they're about to launch the uh, New Zealand Sexual Warrant of Fitness. And the idea is a small laminated document. Um, in the States, they have like a credit card size mm-hmm. thing, like a license or a credit card, you know. And the idea is before you enter into a new situation, a uh, bit of a mood killer. I don't know. You think it's a mood killer? I just I don't huh? see anything very romantic about it. It's not, you know. It's West almost places. like, what's your bank balance? Do you own your own mm-hmm. car? Where's the mortgage title? And, you know, your And what's your credit rating? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just not very romantic. Well, it's very much like Auckland. What do you drive? What school did you go to? Where do you live? And how much money you got, isn't it? Let's yeah. be honest. It's very, very similar, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So um, the idea is, is before you enter into something uh, casual full-time, you, you, you pull your card out. And uh, there is an 800 number now being advertised around the country where you can go for your sexual warrant of fitness, where you can be tested for nasties, and then you'll have your own little laminated card to pull out. We thought we'd just give the number a call and uh, just see what happens. Welcome to Sexual Health Service. For general inquiries and to make a free and confidential appointment, please contact one of our four clinics. Our Green Lane Clinical Centre, phone 630-9770. Please press 1. Under our Mangari one. Clinic, phone 255-5172. Please press 2. Okay, I'll book, I'll book us in, okay? Alright. Us? Sexual health, good afternoon. Speaking with Raven. I was wrong about the uh, sexual warrant of fitness thing I read in the paper. About, uh, about getting the, yeah, yep, the yep, sexual warrant of fitness. Do. You just wanted to know um, what, what's involved. Just wanted to know, uh, uh, do I actually have to come in, do I? So to come in there for, uh, for, the, uh, for, the, for the warrant? or? <laughs> or yes, mm. yes, you have to make yeah. an appointment and come in. It's got some problems at the moment with the handbrake at the moment. It's not, not uh, sort of uh, not going up properly. I don't know if that's going to fail the warrant. Uh, it's been running a bit rough at the moment too, so I mean, uh, obviously I want it to, to pass. It's only got it's an, it's an older one, you know what I mean. Um, the emissions are a bit on the high side, and the spark plugs aren't too good. But I'll tell you what, there's something stuck in the exhaust pipe, and that's uh, proving to be a real problem. Okay, now who do you think you're speaking to? This is uh, this is for the Warren Fitness. <laughs> The best of Stu-